I was caught up into the tribulation time. And I saw the remnant that was hiding. And the Lord said, now you see and go and preach what you are seeing. There I saw militia that is set up that will fight against the Antichrist rule. People, if you don't receive the mark, you can't buy, you can't sell. Now how are you going to survive in the end time? Everything is the basis of miracles and answered prayer. Angels were bringing down food from heaven. And the moment they put their, uh, their, 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 when their feet touched the ground, it became food is edible. You see, God is training our faith today so that it will become useful tomorrow. He's training you in the wilderness today how to pray and how to believe. How to pray when you have nothing and see God showing up in your circumstances. He's training you today because on that day, there will be many who will be getting saved. On that day, you become the prophets of the land. You will become the pastors of the land. You will become someone's redeemer. Because God has trained you how to devote your life, how to delight in Him, how to make decisions in the wilderness. For some of us, I call for that. There are many pastors here and many men and women of God here. Such a wonderful time that we could rest in the presence of God and to be reinstated in our heart, in our soul. A time to renew our hearts. I was brought into the spirit into one of these times in this uh, tribulation. The Lord said, now watch what's going to happen. And I stood by the street and a pastor was walking down the street. He was a believer who had not received the mark. He was walking down the street. A minivan pulled over. Opens the door like what you would see in the movies. Catches him and throws him inside the minivan. And the moment the door was shut... The angel of the Lord brought me inside the minivan and said, don't talk, just watch. So now I'm watching. There were three masked men who pressed the pastor down onto the floor and they put the Antichrist seal forcefully on his forehead. And then they, the door was open and they threw him out. When the moment... They threw him out. My eyes again came out of that van. And the Lord said, follow him and you'll see what will happen next. And I'm following him. He went back to this hiding location among the forest. When he went there, the people who were watching over the watchmen or the guards who were watching over the secret location saw the mark. And they said, you cannot come here because you are compromised. And the pastor is crying and he's weeping and he said, no, it's not. I'm forcefully abducted. And they did not believe the story and they were kicked out. And the Lord said, in the end times, you will see the spirit of disloyalty and confusion that will come to break up my house. Stand fast, O oh son of man. You know what the Lord said? He said, you don't even have to fear Antichrist. You have to fear one another. 